الحمد لله حمدا كثيرا طيبا مباركا فيه كما يحب ربنا ويرضى أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله الناصح الأمين اللهم صل على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين ومن تمسك بسنته إلى يوم الدين ثم أما بعد يا عباد الله فضل الله سبحانه وتعالى بعد الأشياء على البعض يا عباد الله Verily Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala He has given certain things superiority over other things وفضل الله والفاضل الله بين الأنبياء والمرسلين Allah Azza wa Jal He has made certain messengers and certain prophets better than other messengers and other prophets فجعل أشرفهم محمدا صلى الله عليه وسلم and he has made the best of them Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam فهو خير الرسل وأفضله so Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he is the best of the messengers he is the best of them and the most noble from amongst them he is the best of them وهو الذي صلى بهم صلى الله عليه wa sallam في ليلة المعراج and he is the one who led the other prophets and the messengers in salah on the night of the Mi'raj. وَهُوَ مُحَمَّدْ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ إِمَامُهُمْ And he is their Imam. وَهُوَ صَاحِبُ الشَّفَاعَةِ الْعُذْمَى صلى الله عليه وسلم And he is the one who will give the greatest intercession on the day of judgment. صلى الله عليه وسلم وَفَاضَلَ اللَّهُ سُبْحَانُهُ وَتَعَالَى بَيْنَ الْمَلَائِكَةِ and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He has made some of the malaika, some of the angels, better than others. For Jibreel alayhi salatu wa salam, so Jibreel alayhi salatu wa salam, huwa afdal malaika, he is the best of the angels. The angel Jibreel alayhi salatu wa salam, he is the best of the angels. Wa huwa al-ameen, sahib al and he is the one who was trusted. He is the one who brings the revelations in an anbiya wal mursaleen. He is the one who brings the revelation down to the prophets and down to the messengers. Alayhum as salatu wa salam. Wa faddalullah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He has made certain places, yani ba'd al amakina. That Allah Ta'ala, He has made certain places better than other places. فَجَعَلَ الصَّلَاةُ فِي مَشْرِ الْحَرَامِ بِمِئَةِ الْأَلْفِ صَلَاةً فَضْوًا وَأَجْرًا And Allah Ta'ala, He has made the single prayer that is done inside of the holy sanctuary of the Kaaba to be 100,000 times better and more reward then salah that is prayed outside of it. وَجَعَلَ الصَّلَاةَ فِي مَشْجِدِ الرَّسُولِ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ بِأَلْفِ صَلَاةٍ And the and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He has magnified the reward of the prayer that is done inside of the masjid of His Messenger صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ to be 1,000 times better than salah that is done outside of it. نعم. وَفَضَّلَ اللَّهُ سُبْحَانُهُ وَتَعَالَى وَفَاضَلُ اللَّهُ سُبْحَانُهُ وَتَعَالَى بَيْنَ الْأَزْمَانِ And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He has made certain times better than other times. He has made certain times better than other times. فَجَعَلَ لَيْلَةُ الْقَدَرْ خَيْرِ الْلَيَالِ And Allah ta'ala, He has made the night of Qadr خَيْرَ الْلَيَالِ The best night of the year. وَجَعَلَ يَوْمُ النَّحْرُ أَفْضَلُ الْأَيَّامِ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ And He has made that the day of Nahr, it is the best day with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَقِيلَ يَوْمُ عَرَفَةً 
And some say that the best day is Yawm Arafah. Ala kulli hal, there are some days that are better than other days. Wa faddala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala al ashr al awwal min shahr dhil hijjah ala sa'ir al ayyam al aam. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He has made the first 10 days of the month of Dhul Hijjah better than every other days of the year. Better than every other days of the year. وقال العلماء and the ulama they mention and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he has made the last 10 nights of Ramadan to be the best 10 nights of the year ala kulli hal ya ibadullah it is incumbent that we take advantage of the opportunities when they present themselves Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he has blessed us to live to see the best days of the year as the best days of the year, then they are the first 10 days of this month. The first 10 days of this month, this being the first of those 10 days. So it is incumbent that we take advantage of these this auspicious occasion and this auspicious time that we are in and that we increase in doing the righteous good deeds because they are multiplied in this time frame like they are not multiplied in other than the year. They are more beloved unto Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than that which is done outside of these days of the year. فَأَخْرَجَ الْبَزَّارِ Imam al-Bazzar رَحِمُهُ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى and it's from the hadith من حديث جابر رضي الله تعالى عنه أن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال أفضل أيام الدنيا أيام العشر that the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم he said that the best the best days of the dunya, the best days of the year, then they are the 10 days, meaning the 10 days, the first 10 days of the month of Dhul Hijjah. Was Sahahahu Al Albani. Al Albani graded this hadith as being Sahih. So we understand from this hadith that these days that we're in right now, they are the best days of the year. They are the best days of the year. So how do we benefit? How do we capitalize? We capitalize by increasing and doing righteousness during these 10 days. By increasing and doing righteousness during these 10 days. As it comes, Inda al-Bukhari, as it comes, Imam al-Bukhari, rahmatullah alayhi, he brings inside of his sahih, inside of his collection of authentic hadith. Min hadith, Abdullah ibn Abbas, radiyallahu ta'ala anhuma, anna al-Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam qal, ma min ayyamin al-amil salih, fiha ahabbu ilallah, من هذه الأيام يعني أيام العشر that the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم he said what means that there are no actions there are no days in which righteous good deeds are done therein that is more beloved unto Allah than these days meaning the first ten days of this month of Dhul Hijjah وقيلة and the Sahaba some of the Sahaba that were there they said وقيلة ولا الجهاد في سبيل الله يا رسول الله they said not even jihad that is done in the way of Allah, O Messenger of Allah, not even jihad, not even striving and struggling in Allah's deen to make the kalima of La ilaha illallah uppermost. Even is better than even that, O Messenger of Allah. فقال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم ولا الجهاد في سبيل الله and not even jihad في سبيل الله إلا الرجل خرج بنفسه وماله except for a man who goes out with himself and he goes out with his wealth ولم يرجع من ذلك بشيء and he doesn't return with any of that. That that is the only thing that will trump the deeds that are done inside of these days. So the ulama they mention and from them is Sheikh Raslan rahmatullah Sheikh Raslan hafizahullah taala. He mentions, وفي هذا الحديث أيضا ذلك المعنى الذي هو في حديث جابر رضي الله تعالى عنه لأنه إذا كانت الأعمال في أيام العشر أحب إلى الله تبارك وتعالى وأفضل وأفضل في الميزان. He says, and in this we have the same thing that comes in the hadith, the same meaning that comes in the hadith of Jabir. And that is, is that since the, the actions that are done inside of these days, they are more beloved unto Allah, Tabarak wa ta'ala, and they are heavier inside of the scales, 
They are heavier inside of the scales, men. Nawairiha. They are heavier inside of the scales than the like of them. Filwayri ayam al ashar that are done outside of these ten days. Fala shak. Then there is no doubt. And nahad al zaman mahbubun. And Allah tabarak wa ta'ala mufadbalun. He said, then there is no doubt that these days, then they are beloved unto Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then these days, they are, yani, have more superiority. They have been given more superiority by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it is a must, ya ibad, that we take advantage of these days by increasing and doing the righteous good deeds. That we take advantage of these days by increasing and doing those things that is wajib upon us by making sure we are steadfast upon our salawat, upon our prayers, that we are praying our prayers during the proper time that we have the khushur, that we have the humility and the attentiveness inside of our prayers, that we are excelling and praying our prayers during this time, like we are to be outside of this time, but especially in this time, due to this being a blessed time, a beloved time unto Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, due to the deeds being done at this time, being better than deeds that are done outside of this time, then we have to capitalize upon those things that are wajib upon us. We should be capitalizing on fasting during these days, bithnilahi ta'ala fasting the first nine of these days because the tenth, then of course that is Yomul Eid and it's not permissible to fast on the day of the Eid, but that we that we that we fast as much as we're able to fast from these days, and in particular Yomul Arafah, which is the ninth that we fast on the on on Yomul Arafah due to the tremendous due to the tremendous reward that is contained therein of an individual having their sins forgiven for the like of two years if they fast that day. Ya ibadullah, it is incumbent that during these days that we increase in giving uh, uh, sadaqah, that we increase in giving charity during these days as the deeds that are done in these days are more beloved than deeds that are done outside of these days. It is incumbent that during these days we increase in showing good behavior and good treatment to our parents and that we treat them in a very most excellent and best of way like we are to be treating them outside of these days but especially during these days because because the deeds that are done in these days are more beloved than deeds that are done outside of these days. And so on and so forth. And utilize that as a measuring stick. So on and so forth. It is incumbent that we increase in doing the righteous good deeds. Doing the best of the days. The best days of the year. It is incumbent that we capitalize on this time by increasing in doing the righteousness. فاستغفروا فإنه هو الغفور الرحيم بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على الرسول الله وبعد يا عباد الله we have to take advantage of our life because our life is the only time is the only opportunity that we have to gain good for ourselves, to put forward goodly work, striving and hoping that we attain the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He blesses us with His reward, with His jannah, with the heaven. There is not a single one for amongst us except that he or she wants to go to heaven. Well, now, during your lifetime, is where you put forward those works, those actions, and those deeds to go to heaven. So do not be from those who are deceived. Those who say they want to go to heaven, but they sow the seeds of hell. Be from those who put forward the deeds, the deeds of the people of heaven, if you truly want to go to heaven. And it is incumbent that we take advantage of auspicious occasions that occur inside of the year so that we may benefit. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He has made these times like this so that we may benefit. So that we may benefit. So that we may benefit. And these days are the best days of the year, period. These are the best days of the year, period. And this is because or from what we see, how we can see and understand how these are the best days 
days of the year period is that there are great foundational acts of worship that come together during this time frame that it don't come together outside of this time frame. So for example, at Tawheed, at Tawheed Allah, Naam, the Tawheed of Allah, this is all the time, every day of the year. But you find it present, Naam, also in these days of the year, and in particular inside of the Takbir with Tahmeed, in particular inside of the Takbir, inside of saying Allahu Akbar, inside of saying Alhamdulillah, inside of saying La ilaha illallah, and you find that in the Takbirat, and the Takbirat is something that we should be saying, is a Sunnah that we should be doing, we should be saying from the beginning of this month. And that is, is that we off repeat, we off repeat out loud, we off repeat verbally, we off repeat audibly, out loud. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, wa lillahi alhamd. That we say this amongst and, 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 and we say this much and abundantly during this time. Once the month begins, then we once the ten days begin, then we start to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with the likes of these takbirat. So I encourage myself and I encourage others, everyone who my voice it reaches upon their ears during this auspicious occasion to increase in making these takbirat. As this was the way of the Salaf, this was the way the Sahaba, they will increase in making these takbirat from when the month it began. Naam. So it is incumbent that we do this. Do not leave this until the day of the Eid only. Do not leave this until you're sitting inside of the Musalla on the day of the Eid only. But no, but rather from right now the month has begun. Increase in making these takbirat. Increase in making these takbirat. This is from the ways that we benefit. This is from the ways that we yani, take full advantage of this time frame. So you find that the Tawheed, like it is every time of the year, it is here also during these days. And also, women, yani, and, and, and from the foundation, these, these foundational acts of worship you have, the salawat, the salah. Naam. So the salah is wajib all of the year. But in particular, we have the salawat that is wajib all of the year and we have the what? Salat al-Eid. The Salat al-Eid that, that comes on the day of the Eid during these 10 days. And also the Siyam. Naam. That Siyam as we know which is from the foundational acts of worship of the deen of al-Islam we have inside of these 10 days Siyam. And in particular what is meant is what? The Siyam Yom Arafah. Is the Siyam is the fasting of the day of Arafah. So it's also the Siyam here now in these days. So we have what? We have the Tawheed we have the salah, we have the siyam, naam, was zakah, also the, z- the zakah, given charity, and that can be found in particular during these days, the charity that is given from the adhiyah, the charity that is given from that which is slaughtered, the, yani the meat that is given to the poor and the needy, so on and so forth, from that, so we see an aspect, what, of charity that is given during this time, and then we have during this time, umrah, we have during this time, what, hajjul akbar, we have during this time the major hajj, the hajj that comes in this time of the year. So you will find that when you look at these things, all of these things together, this is the only time of the year that all of these foundational acts of worship, they come together at one time frame, all of them together. So it is a must that we take advantage of this. And this shows you the superiority of these days. This shows you the virtue of these days as Imam Al-Hafidh ibn Hajar Rahimahullah ta'ala He points out so eloquently Inside of Fath al-Bari Naam So I refer those to go back to Fath Inshallah ta'ala For more For more understanding As we like on how all of this goodness Comes together during these days Ya ibadullah The Hajj The Hajj is a tremendous opportunity Naam For those who have the ability For those who have the physical ability And the financial ability The means to make the Hajj As the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam He said that the accepted hajj 
it has no reward that is befitting for it. There is no reward befitting for it except for heaven, except for Jannah. Ya ibadullah. It is incumbent that we utilize our lives. It is incumbent that we spend much time in doing those things that will benefit us. It is incumbent that we utilize our lifespan so that we benefit. It is incumbent that we utilize our lifespan so that we benefit. If we want to be from the people of Jannah, then we have to come forward with the characteristics, with the actions of the people of Jannah. If we do not want to be from the people of hell, then we should not sow the seeds of hell. Wallahu musta'an wa alayhi tuklan wa sallallahu ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in fa'aqimu salat إن الصلاة تنهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر